So Docusaurus lets you focus on your content, and it's actually a really great pair for something like Vercel, which lets you deploy all sorts of front ends with zero configuration. So Docusaurus intertwines uh, Markdown with a little bit of React um, into like a static site generation uh, app that you can use for all sorts of things like blogs and documentation. So if you want to see what it's like to deploy Docusaurus to Vercel, that's what we're going to do today. My name is Ricky and welcome to The Dev Method. And if you guys haven't already, I have a Twitter which is The Dev Method. And if you like these types of videos, you need to subscribe or like the video. And actually, if you like the video, the uh, thumbs up does like a little sparkle thing. It's really cool, check it out. So our goal for today is we're gonna take a look at um, creating a new repo with Docusaurus uh, from the classic template and theme that Docusaurus gives you. And then we're gonna deploy it to Vercel. So we're, the whole point here is that uh, as long as we can get this project up and running, and actually host it somewhere, then we can go back and actually customize it or change things and uh, continuously deploy new changes um, as they're pushed to the main branch. All right, so if you haven't done so already, check out docusaurus.io. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. Um, just real quick showcase. I just want to showcase a couple of these things. Um, on the website, they have the showcase, then you can uh, you could filter them by the product or open source or a favorite. Um, these might be some websites that you guys are familiar with. Uh, one of the biggest ones that stands out to me is Jest. So Jest is built uh, with Docusaurus. So is uh, React Native, the site there. Um, so it's pretty cool. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. And the one we're making is actually going to look a lot like Docusaurus, like the thing that we see today. Um, another big reason to use it is that there's a search up here. So there's a couple different ways to uh, implement the search. Um, but it searches all your content and indexes it. So users can search for something and find it really quickly. All right, so the first step is we have to create the project. And um, I'm actually going to use npx to do this. So if you take a look here, um, it's npx, and then we're using uh, create docusaurus. So it's just going to pull down this npm module, temporarily cache it on our computer. It's going to pull from the latest, so whatever the latest version is. And then um, I'm creating a project called hello t-rex, because it's dinosaurs, so thought I'd throw a t-rex reference in there. Um, we're going to use the classic theme. That's why that is put there. And then I'm actually going to be using TypeScript. So that's why I have the TypeScript option. Uh, so let's run this, and let's see what happens after that. All right, so something that I learned already when trying to install it is you need Node 16.14 or later. Um, and that's as of today, June 7th, 2022. Okay, cool. We're all set. All right, so let's take a look at the structure of the project. So if you uh, take a look here on the left, we have blogs, we have docs, we have node modules, we have source, we have static, and then a bunch of other files. Um, so the whole point here being, let me open up each one of these directories. So the blog, um, we'll see this in a second when we actually deploy it. But these are our different blog posts, like an example of a long one or a short one. Um, a lot of this is explained inside the documentation, too, if you want to take a look. Uh, but then there's this area of docs, which is just going to be like a different section for us. Um, and then we have source. So this is where we create our different pages, um, which could be comprised of markdown. Uh, it looks like TypeScript files here and some CSS. So it made this all for us uh, so that we're ready to go. Also on the website, if you want to take a look at this view, um, you replace my website with the name of the project that you have. Um, and these are an example of like what we had just looked at here and how it's structured. All right, so the next part is we actually have to get this into a public repository on GitHub, so I'm going to do that now. So when I create my new repository, just giving it the same name as the project folder, um, I think that'll be fine. Give a little ex description. It's going to be public because that's how we're going to get it on for sale. Um, I'm not going to do the readme because there's already one in the project when we generated it. And uh, I picked the template of Node, so I, I think it's going to be the best one for us for the Git ignore, but we'll see. OK, so it added some files for us. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is actually um, add, since we started with the project first, um, we have to add this origin, which means like what's the remote uh, place that our project is stored at. And we do this because Vercel is going to grab onto that and uh, set up like a Git hook so that anything get, that gets pushed to main will automatically be published to production. Um, so with that, um, we just need to find out what the remote 
repository URL is. So I'll go back to Safari here. And I uh, believe it's just going to be this guy. All right, I'll put it in. Oh, uh, well, I needed to make this a Git repository, so Git init. There we go. Initial empty repository. Let's go back up here. Git checkout main. dash B to get the main in there. Put this in here. All right, now let's try and run that same command. And then get pull. All get branch set up stream to equal origin slash main space main. Main does not exist. All right, so I found this uh, quick little link. I'll post this in the description too about uh, getting set up with the remote repository. Um, I forget some of these steps because uh, I haven't done this in a while, but um, we do need an initial commit. That's what it's saying. So we're going to do that. I added all the files. Initial commit. Just add everything all at once. All right, cool. And then we want to do git push dash dash set upstream space origin space main. One moment, please. And then in order to get things set up, I had to do this command here. I'll make it nice and big on the screen so you can read it. But then uh, git pull so we can uh, get all the changes. OK, git push. I'm just going to force push. Yeah, because it's just we're starting from scratch. I'll just do that. Now, to make sure everything is up to date, I'll just go on the website here and just double check, reload. All right, cool. Cool, we're good. Oh, we do have a git ignore. All right, cool. So we're good. This is good enough. Now, hopefully, the next step should be easy. We should be able to go to the Vercel website and just like add a project. It should already be hooked up with your GitHub account so that you can find all the public repositories and add them. So here I am, Vercel.com. I've already logged in. I'm going to use a uh, new project. And let's see. It's called Hello T-Rex. All right, so I had my um, permissions set up just for a select number of repositories. So I'm going to go ahead and add the repository here, hello T-Rex. All right, so I have it added. I'm going to save. Let's see if it refreshes. OK, there it is. Now I can import it. Oh, cool. It has a little icon. Neat. All right, import. I'll leave it as hello T-Rex. Yeah, sure. This all looks good. I'm just going to deploy. I don't know that I have anything special to change or apply. No custom settings. All right, it's building. It's only uh, probably going to take a couple seconds, not too long. Now, the next thing it says here uh, after the import, um, all subsequent pushes to the branch, uh, or for any branch, really generates a preview. Um, but then also the production branch is either main or master. So in this case, it's going to be main for us. Um, and that will be like a production deploy. All right, so once it's all done, um, it says congratulations. <laughs> and it throws some confetti on the screen. So sorry I couldn't record that for you guys. Uh, didn't know how long it was going to take, but it looked like it took just under a minute. Um, so as soon as I paused, it automatically finished. Anyways, uh, we're back on and looks like uh, here, run docusource start to run your project. Um, preview, ship, push to main. Okay, cool. Things that we, we know. Um, so is this out online? I think that's the next question. So where's my link? Here it is. Hello, trex.versell.app. Let's take a look. Hey, here it is. Cool. All right, so it's got some stuff in here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and customize one of these things. Like, uh, let's add something to this MDX file and then let's push a change and let's watch it actually update. So I believe that is uh, the longer. Yeah, here it is. All right, so it's got the tool tip or the tip like box. Get that style in here. Um, here, let's just make another one. Tip. Close it out, and uh, I'll do a select with options. Then we'll do the code snippet. Right now it's a JS is the code snippet, but um, no need to worry about that. So it'll be what? Select. Man, I don't know if I remember all my. All my HTML. All right. Two, three, four. Does this work? I think it's on change. And we'll do alert like they just did, just to see if it's working. Uh, selection changed. All right, now it would be good to actually run this locally uh, before we push it, but I'm just gonna give it a try, just so you can see that the changes go there. Because really what we're looking for is just some of the content to go up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and say, added code sample. or select component, add it in. All right, now I've got to push it up. So I usually do command line git push, see all the detail. All right, so it should be up there. Let's check uh, what's going on on Vercel. All right, my updates have deployed, and all we have to do is just check out the site again. And uh, let's just refresh. Yeah, here it is, there's my select. Cool, and then if I change it, do I get the alert? Yeah, I got the alert. Very cool. So thanks for walking through that with me. I know it was a little rough at times, but hopefully that's more or less what real life is like. You know, you gotta try and figure out what the issues were, how to fix them. So if you guys do have questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'll put all the links in the, in the description so you guys can um, go back and review this documentation yourself. And, and again, Vercel is not the only place you can deploy this DocuSource to, and DocuSource isn't the only tool you can use to solve this blogging, documentation, website type of thing. But hopefully you get an idea of how the two work really well together. Um, and uh, hope you guys have a good day. And hit the like button if you haven't already. And also subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.